All right, well, here is another video, short one, nonetheless, about the, um, well, the tools and maybe the brand. I don't know if you ever heard about Mayhew, but Mayhew is a really professional made tool. I found that they mainly, at least what I've purchased mainly from them, are um, ear hammer bits. And, um, yeah this is this is nonetheless a really nice a really nice set there's it has this like plastic it's like this molded plastic it's kind of like folded as you can see it's like this right there it's not really i guess it's like mended and then it has this little like foam inserts and this nicely nice sticker on the front mayhew pro know what the pros know really professional brand i forgot what all the bits this comes with what three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen 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 spots eighteen spots on here for ear hammer bits so if you and i think this came with a couple i had a couple redundant sets redundant pieces and I just kind of picked out all the pieces that I wanted to put in here. So I put a, a pickle fork in here. I put like a chisel. Um, and I, if you worked in a body shop, this would be ideal because you'd have all these readily ac accessible at your fingertips. You got this chisel with a bent angle. You got this punch, really sharp. You got this one, like a cutter. Then you got this one if you need to like hammer on something, flat surface. I'll go over these two in a little bit. You got another flat surface, but slightly thinner and wider. A longer, sharper chisel. This one with a, an angle on it. This longer one, some a little more like drift type punches. A bigger bit. So I got several, several of these. And these are, I believe it's called shake and break. This comes in a two piece, it's like a half and a quarter. And it's pretty much, you put an impact socket on it with your air hammer. Let me grab my, let me grab my, uh, I'm gonna pull down my uh, air hose reel. I got my ear, I'll just put it right here so it doesn't go flying off the table. But I got an ear hammer. Let's see, this is the, the Ingersoll ran 122 max. And uh, let me just put some, some oil in there. I use this uh, super lube. Um, I just put a couple drops in there. I'm pretty sure they're oiled. I don't really use it much, but for demo purposes, put a little bit down to but the air hammer is a really versatile tool. But I was trying to talk about these bits. So this has a quick change chuck that just fits onto the sleeve right here. You just drop it in and uh, pull your, your collar back. So see, the collar just slides back. You just drop these in and it just fits in. And I mean, you can grab any, any one of these. Let's go with this. Let's go with something that's a little bit different. Drop it in there, and you got these. They're not gonna come out. This might be a little bit loud. Let's see if I can get it on here. There we go. So 
already charged up. And normally I'd have eye and air protection, so I'm just gonna point it over there and press the trigger. So if I had a surface or something that I wanted to punch through, this would be, see? It has a little hammer and action in there. And it's pretty loud. But the review, well, the review is not even about the air hammer. And then I'm just gonna show you this, but this is called a shake and break. You could, in theory, attach. Attach any of your uh, impact sockets. So I think these are three eighths. Or half. Yeah, they're half. So here, here we go. I got a. Uh, this does not really fit on there pretty tight. It's pretty loose. Huh. Oh. I would not want to use that on there. It's pretty loose. Let me see if I can find something else. Maybe that's just how it's designed. It's pretty loose. It doesn't have it doesn't have a pin or anything on it, and it's definitely pretty loose. So you definitely gotta like lean into it to use it. But I mean, it's gonna go flying off the way it is right now. But obviously, if I had it up against a a um, a bolt or something and it's completely corroded, I'm just leaning into it, putting a, the impact and force on it. And you, you can feel it, look at my finger. It's just putting a lot of impact on it. But the point I'm trying to make is not about the bits. It's definitely not about these sockets. It's about this, this tool. So air hammer bits and this company Mayhew really makes great, great air hammer bits. Um, and they definitely make a lot of, a lot of punches. Um, so I have several set of these. I have a complete set of Mayhew punches and you can get them in all different sizes and configuration. Um, I know that I want to get is the, I know what I want to get next is the, the really long ones. So I think it's a set of three. I think they were like 18 inches or something. If you have something to, if you want to really reach out and touch it, you want to have that extra length. So, but yeah, this is a, it's a pretty nifty set. And like I said, really, really solid in terms of, obviously if you tip it over, it's going to fall out. And this is a lot of, a lot of things to jab you with. So we won't do that. But as far as like transporting, this is solid. It's transporting storage, um, the way it looks set on top of your toolbox, you know, once no one is gonna, once they're not gonna walk off um, by, you know what I mean by a walk off, right? You know, they're not gonna grow legs on, just, you know, move off on them one. So put it on top of your toolbox, it look nice. So I leave this front and center in my garage. Um, I don't use half these bits, but if I ever come across something where I need to like cut through, um, best believe I'm gonna grab one of these and I'm gonna go to town or if I gotta punch through like a, a bolt or something. But yeah, this is a, this is the Mayhew, Mayhew set. I don't remember the price on this. I just remember it wasn't cheap. So, uh, and I think you're just paying for the, the 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 quality of the tools. Like I said, it came with several pieces. It came with it came with all this filled up, but I just remember it was not cheap. But I like quality tools, so yeah, me you.